genius and excellent experiments. Magic and mayhem. Facts and fun. And today, check out how to do this. Wow! Wow! Over to Stacy and Seth. Hey guys, since a lot of people have been buying lots and lots of toilet paper for some reason, we've found a really fun, creative, helpful way for using tissue rolls. We're going to make a bird feeder. So guys, for this craft, you're gonna need tissue roll, a string, cooking fat, gloves, and for the grains, we're gonna use sorghum seeds. Let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna do is we're gonna put on our gloves because We don't wanna of, get oily. Yeah, we yeah. don't want our hands to be oily and stuff. The first thing when he puts on his gloves. <laughs> I'm trying to find a way to put it on. We're going to take the fat and apply it on the tissue roll. Mm -hmm. Ugh. <laughs> Shouldn't we use just our hands because we have gloves on anyway? Oh, okay. You can do that. Let me just take some <laughs> off. Oh, it feels weird. Put some on. So now we're going to put the seeds all mm -hmm. over it. So why don't we just roll it inside the okay. plate so that. You roll it. Oh, I took off my glove. <laughs> and now, oh, you can see it's getting everywhere. I just so sprinkled it. it. Yeah. Just so that you get everything in place. Wow. So the cooking fat is working. Yeah, it's like, it's like an edible glue. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, I think that's covered enough. Yeah. So now we're gonna take the string mm -hmm. and put it through like this. There we go. And so now we can like tie it onto a tree or something. And, and then the birds, the birds will come. Will come. Yeah. And, like, they can even put their feet here and eat off of it. It'll be really cool and it'll be very helpful because some birds, you know, can't find stuff to eat and this would be very good for them. Yeah, and then you get to have the opportunity to see a lot of birds. Mm. Yeah. So this was a really fun way of using tissue roll. Yeah, and instead of throwing the tissue roll away, you can use it as a bird feeder. This is Seth. This is Stacy. And this is Summer's Love. Love. Now let's go feed the birds. Birdies! Here you go, lunch! <laughs> so what do you do when you run out of tissue paper? Well, you get more or you make a toilet roll fire dragon. For this activity, you need paint, glue, a paintbrush, toilet paper roll, scissors, crepe paper, and permanent marker. Let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to mix these two beautiful colors, blue and yellow, to make green. And while she's doing that, I'm gonna be cutting the crepe paper to make the flames for the dragon. So now I'm going to paint the toilet roll. Okay. Okay, I think we're done. And now we should let it dry. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it'll come up more green when it's dry. Yeah. So we're gonna let it dry and then we'll show you. What to do next. Yes. So we let it dry and this is the end result. It's green. <laughs> yeah, now we're gonna move the paint over so we have more space to yes. do stuff and glue the strips on. So first, Seth is going to draw the face with the marker. Yeah, I think you'd look really silly with googly eyes. Yeah. Point Make sure draw. you draw it well. Should I draw a smiley face? Yeah. It's a nice dragon. Oh gosh. <laughs> Uh, it doesn't have a nose. <laughs> yes, it's, it's a human dragon now. Okay. <laughs> but yeah. Now we're going to take the glue and then we're going to attach the strips inside the toilet roll. 
So here you put the glue inside the turnip rope and, and then stick a strip onto it like that. that. And then continue putting until we have all these wonderful colors together. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's so crowded up. Yeah, I think okay. that's enough. Now we're going to let it dry so that the glue can dry mm -hmm. and it won't go flying off when we blow into it. Yeah. So we waited a few minutes for it to dry and it's all dried up and it's looking really cool and it was very easy to make with very simple material. And now I'm going to blow into it to show you how it works. Oh, I want to try. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> Wow. It was very fun making this and I hope you guys try it at home and tag us. Hashtag Summer's Love. This is Seth. And this is Stacy. And this is Summer's Love. Oh, you brought Mr. Bunny again. Yeah. Why? Because he's my pet and it's Easter. Well, as much as I love Mr. Bunny, you know he's not allowed to be in the lab. Come on, Seth, just this one. Okay, I guess. <laughs> Today we're going to make bunny pencil holders. Let's get started. In this activity, we're going to be using paint, tissue roll, paintbrush, plate, googly eye, scissors, glue, and paper. So the first thing is to take the paint, our blue paint, and put it on the paper plate. My favorite color. Yeah. That's, that's enough. I think it's enough. Yeah. Now we're going to paint the uh, paper roll. Yeah. The tissue roll. Mm -hmm. So you hold it, I paint it. Okay. Now you're going to make me get paint on my fingers. No, I'm not going to paint your fingers. So I'm going to paint it in super blue. Now I'm going to start cutting the bunny ears. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is fold the paper in half, like so. And then I'm going to take my scissors and cut out some a pair of ears. Now that we've let it dry for a bit, we're going to add the base, just like that. Maybe we should make it a bit bigger, but that's for you guys to do at home. If it doesn't work, make a bit of a bigger base. Yeah. So yeah. Because it can't work without the base. Yeah, yeah. The pencils would just be falling out. Yeah. So, so the next thing is the mouth, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we waited for it to dry and it's all dried up. Yeah. As you can see, it's looking good. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a funny bunny. Yeah. So we made a few others. Yeah. Like this one. I made this, this one. This one. Yeah. So they can store pencils and mm -hmm. a lot of other things, like just like rulers and erasers and things that you need for school. Yeah, let's test it out. I'm gonna take some pencils. It works! Yeah, as you can see, I'm gonna put some in this one too. Mm. And this keeps your pencils from going all over because yeah. it's so stable mm. and it's pretty. Yeah. <laughs> Please make sure you try this at home and tag us at hashtag Summer's Lab. This is Seth. This is Stacy. And this is Summer's Lab! Stay connected with me on the Super Summer YouTube channel.